So as we can see, the pressure is piling and piling up on Pyongyang over its recent provocations and in reaction specifically to North Korea's uh, long-range missile test that happened on Sunday. A rare Joint Chiefs of Staff meeting is being held. They are the highest ranking military officials from South Korea, the US and Japan, and they are meeting via a video conference. To bring us the latest, we have our Guan Zhang Oh on the line for us. Zhang Oh, how are the talks going? Hi, Mark. Well, the talks began almost five hours ago, and it still seems to be ongoing. Today's meeting was being held by military leaders of the three countries to discuss North Korea's recent nuclear test on missile launch. It's the first time the three Joint Chiefs of Staff have convened since July 2014, when, again, North Korea's nuclear tests were the topic of discussion. The meeting is being hosted by the U.S. in Hawaii. It is being attended by the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman General Joseph Dunford and his Japanese counterpart, Admiral Katsutoshi Kawano. Seoul's Chairman, General Yi Sun Jin, is connecting via video from Korea as he could not leave the country due to the state of military readiness currently being adopted. The three leaders will be looking to share information and discuss the measures that need to be taken for the safety of the region. The talks were originally scheduled for an earlier date in response to North Korea's fourth nuclear test, but it was pushed back due to the signs that the regime was also about to launch a missile. We will bring you more information on what comes out of the talks as the day goes on.